Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to test War Thunder on a low-end PC without a graphics card. War Thunder is a free-to-play online multiplayer game that lets you experience the most epic battles of World War II and beyond. You can pilot planes, tanks, ships, and even helicopters in realistic and dynamic combat scenarios. You can also customize your vehicles with different skins, decals, and weapons. The game is very well optimized and can run smoothly on low-end PCs with just 4GB of RAM. I'm playing on an i3 processor with integrated graphics and I'm getting 30 to 40 FPS on 1080p resolution with medium settings. That's pretty good for a game that looks this beautiful and detailed. So how do you play War Thunder on a low-end PC without a graphics card? Well, it's very simple. All you need to do is download the game from the official website or Steam and install it on your PC. Then you need to launch the game and go to the settings menu. There you can adjust the graphics options according to your preference and performance. You can lower the resolution, texture quality, shadows, anti-aliasing, and other settings to improve your FPS. You can also turn off some effects like motion blur, lens flare, and grass. You can also enable the dynamic resolution option which will automatically adjust the resolution based on your FPS. But don't worry, even if you lower the graphics settings, the game will still look amazing and immersive. The game has a great art style and atmosphere that will make you feel like you're in the middle of a war zone. The sound effects and music are also very realistic and immersive. So that's how you can play War Thunder on a low-end PC without a graphics card in 2023. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, let me know in the comments what other games you want me to play on a low-end PC. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.